Howdy everyone, David here with Tabletopping.net and these series of videos are from the Player's Handbook from Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and uh, these are breaking down all of the different races uh, that are both included in the basic rules and the additional races the more rare races that are actually included in the player's handbook. So this video deals with the Dragonborn. And you can see the Dragonborn uh, consists of information with three pages. And it has a lot of beautiful art actually pertaining to you know, Draconic Iconage and the actual Dragonborn there is, is really nice. And you can see that the Dragonborn has quite a bit of information basically telling you that how the the history with the dragonborn coming from eggs born of dragons and the talks about how depending on what draconic heritage you choose uh, you will have scales that are colored uh, in that you know that type of ancestry uh, it also talks about how the dragonborn are they really worship their clans more so than they would to their own deities and that was actually pretty surprising to read. Now you'll also notice that the Dragonborn names actually has quite a few examples. You can see it gives you a nice assortment of male, female, children, and also clan names as well. But you'll notice here on the Uncommon Races tab that these are basically one of the Uncommon Races along with the Gnome, the Half-Elf, the Half-Orc, and Tiefling. Uh, because these are not races that are actually um, involved with the, the basic rules. Now, when you choose a Dragonborn in 5th edition, you will get bonuses depending on, you know, what race that you choose. And sometimes uh, there are sub-races as well, but the, dragon, the Dragonborn does not have any kind of sub-race. So, their traits whenever you start a Dragonborn you get a bonus with your strength score and your charisma score uh, there's also it talks about the age multiplier when you choose your age for your Dragonborn also it talks about the alignments how most Dragonborn are generally usually good and it talks about the Dragonborn even though they're over six foot tall more than 250 pounds and bigger than humans for the most part, they're still considered a medium creature. And the speed of the Dragonborn is 30 feet or 6 squares. Now, one of the major portions of, you know, well, one of the major things of becoming a Dragonborn is your Draconic Ancestry. And your Draconic Ancestry affects several things. Now, when you choose your Draconic Ancestry, you're going to choose either a chromatic type of dragon, which would be, uh, for instance, a, uh, a black or a blue, or you could choose a metallic type of dragon, like a gold, copper, bronze, or brass. And when you do this, you inherit that type of damage type from your Draconic heritage. So, for instance, you get br a breath weapon, which you can use once. Uh, it has a, uh, a DC for the actual saving throw that the person needs to make. And say if you take the blue heritage, you would do lightning damage with your with your lightning, well, with your breath weapon. And it actually scales up according to your level. I think it goes up at 6th, 11th, and also at 16th. So when when you choose say you know you chose the lightning, the blue draconic uh, ancestry, you're also going to get damage resistance. So all lightning damage that you would take would be halved, which is tremendous. Especially if you were to take, you know, maybe red for fire. And that I mean that is the resistance part is is massive. That is a that's almost a big seller for choosing a dragonborn. And also there it talks about a little bit about the draconians as well as well. But those are pretty much primarily uh for the Dragonlance setting. But other than that, guys, the, the Dragonborn is a, is a really solid choice for your race. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, and if 
you know, seeing that this is not in the basic rules, maybe this could influence you to possibly head to your local game score or purchase the player's handbook online. So, see you next time, and until then, happy gaming.